Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And we're back in Wise County, Virginia today. That's all right. We are in Andover today. Andover, yeah. And, and despite being right in the smack in the middle of coal country, it is not a coal town. No, it is a railroad town, which yes. is still associated with coal. Yes. But a little bit different. Absolutely. And we'll show you that as we drive down through there. But you won't, to the naked eye, probably won't look much different at all. Yep. That's exactly right. So I say we get on the road. What do you think? All right, let's show them. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you need to do that. Become part of our family. Absolutely. And leave us a comment. Let's, let's open that window that we always like to do here. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get into cold country it rains on us i don't know but i think it kind of sets the scene don't you yeah in some ways it does because hard times man i'm kind of stuffy today too you would think that it's like winter i guess if you could feel the weather especially too yeah 54 degrees today but we're actually like in summer this is crazy i know just yes yeah, almost biblical yeah I guess. I'm not sure what chapter of the Bible that's in, but no. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But anyway, we're not going to let that dampen our spirits any. Oh, dampen. But on not We're on the way into Andover. Yes. And we've done two or four videos, four or five, maybe, I can't remember, several videos down in this area. Mm -hmm. And they're very popular in Andover. It's one of the bigger communities left because last I looked, Andover sure. what? Finish your sentence. Oh, yes. Not really. Andover. Andover, one word. Andover there. Yeah. Well, it is, oddly enough. Andover is there. <laughs> uh, but we ran out of time last time. I'm pretty sure the weather got pretty rough on us. I too. think it did, yeah. And we thought, oh, we'll get out and get on a better day. Well, we didn't get a better day, but we're back. Anyway. We are back. We'll just take whatever the good Lord gives us. That's say. exactly right. And look at all this beautiful greenery down here in cold country. Yeah. You can't have the green without the rain. You can't have the green without the rain. There you say, Andover Community Church, everyone welcome. Yeah, so we're just driving down through here. This is one of the sleepy little communities. It's still got... I'd say they get hit with some flooding some. Uh, you know, I'd say they would too. I don't know that I've heard that, but I'm sure it would. You know, already looks up today, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say you can't really see, but over to the side, you know, we just crossed the bridge. It looked like um, it was up a little bit. Yeah. I'll take this right down here and see what happens. Probably dead end. I don't know. But these are very pretty houses through here. Oh, yeah, beautiful. It's almost like some somebody come through here and fixed a bunch of them up. Blood. Just, Blood damage you know money, I bet. I bet you're right. Yeah. I bet you you're right. And there's a ball field. You don't see many of these left around in these areas. Um, I'll turn around and get a better look at that. Yeah, I have heard of FEMA paying to fix up houses that were hit by flooding yeah. um, in Southwest Virginia. And yeah, I bet that it's something like that. Yeah, it's pretty neat that they still have the ball field. Yeah, that little ball field's nice. Love seeing the railroad too. Not sitting, you yeah. know, but yeah, very cool. I don't know what's up with this entranceway here. It's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. um, it'll just turn back toward that. Just give you just dead on view of yeah. uh, the field and how it looks relative to everything else. Mm -hmm. You can see the nice houses and so forth. We can tell this thing's been here for a long, long time. Oh yeah things off of it but let's go on up here so andover's got a population last i checked of about 79 people that was 2020. it's 
pretty good. Yeah, like I said, um, Stonega was major, major, major coal operation back in this area back in the day. Long gone, but it was a boss player over here in Wise County. Now this building right here with the green and the tan, it doesn't look like a house. No, it's, it's some old building and it possibly could have been the store, but I don't know. Yeah. Said some kind up. of company building. Yeah. Yeah, definitely some company building. I mean, I guess it possibly could have been a church too, but I don't I don't usually build them that way. Yeah. Yeah, the churches usually look more distinctly like a church. Well, I mean, I know it had to be horrible at the time, but if those people did get flood money to build those houses, they look amazing. So oh, yeah, they look really good. And there was a warning sign toward drug users, sellers, and buyers there, which I appreciate. Cause, yes. Uh, this area of Southwest Virginia is unfortunately notorious for drug activity, which was well documented on the Dope Sick mm -hmm. series that we both enjoyed. There you see Andover Yard, Pocahontas Division, Partners in Safety. Now, as you'll look and see, I'll get up here and back back out, I guess, because there's not really a road to these houses, and they're right smack. Oh, and we can't even see them because well, we want a road. No, it's not really a road. You got to. It is a road, but they didn't even make a road to those. They're right on, literally right on the railroad tracks. You can see the cars in front of those houses, and hopefully, I don't know, maybe I'll go to the other, other road and get a better shot of those houses. Yeah. <clears throat> and hopefully, not get us stuck in something. Yeah. Could be the biggest key. <laughs> I saw that big, like, drop over there. So this was part of Andover, too. It was part of the railroad yard where they kind of switched over some. So it was it was a primary source. I and mean, it's a shame we didn't get this coal camp until now. We should have got this a long time ago. So you can see a house on the right that's having some work done. Yeah. I don't know if that's from any kind of flood damage or just getting some work done. There's a church back there, straight. Yeah, it's, it's like you said, there's very few of these that doesn't have new um, siding. Yeah. And the ones that don't are on the other side of the road from the river. Yeah. So that was one thing that I thought. All right. Let's get up here and see what else. So there's a lot more to this little community than I thought. see somebody running across the railroad tracks back to and from another house and that's where you're seeing Cute. what i was talking about those are those houses that are right on the railroad tracks yeah and they don't really have good road getting to them mm -hmm. so a little odd unique part of this place reminds me a little bit of finney you can also see a caboose back there yeah um, reminds me a little bit of finney off from honaker and some of these houses, like that one we just saw, went past a minute ago. Well, let me back up for a second and show you this little building too to the left. That is those old kind of garages, old school ones. That goes, that would go back to that. It's kind of needed. Yeah. <clears throat> but some of the houses, like the we saw just a few minutes ago, were duplexes. They're larger, two-story. Yeah. So you can see that they had the exact same kind of entrance on both sides, but most right. of them were duplexes then and are now converted into regular homes. Yeah just for clarification. So we get questions about that a lot. A lot of times you'll see some of the nicer houses are boss's houses, but that's not the case in this case. Mm -hmm. And here's a church. So Andover got a lot more to it than I thought. I, I don't know when the last time, I, I went down here, but I didn't take too much of a look around, if that makes sense. Yeah. It does make sense. There's a house down there for sale. Anybody looking to move to? Some peaceful, quiet coal country. I've often thought, I wondered if something like that would do good as a uh, on verbal or something for if you marketed it as mm -hmm. they live in a coal community, you know, for yeah. a night. So it is like. So many people moved away that family live like this. Yeah. And this side is a little bit further up from the river and these houses aren't as fixed up as the other side was, so that does make me think that it was flood damage. Yeah, very good point. Again, just speculating, but it just seems How many too? from what we've seen. Yeah, it's just too too much of a coincidence. Yeah. All about the same age and the same kind of 
construction, so. Right. Look, one last sweep through here and we'll call it a day, but there's the front of that building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's a church. No, it does look like an old. Building like there may be a mm-hmm. meeting hall, union hall, or something. Yeah. I've seen a lot of them through the, down through like this. If somebody knows what it is, please to correct us. I like to be as accurate as possible. A lot of times we have to speculate. Yeah, so. and we learn alongside you guys a lot of times. Yeah. See, there's not a lot of parking. Everybody's parked out on the street. Yes. Okay. Well, we will get back to the two lane roads and call it a day. Yes. Yeah, this is, I mean, again, I hope, hopefully that it wasn't the bad circumstances that caused it, but the people that do live here seem to have doing, have huge upgrades on their homes. Mm-hmm. Yep. They look and, really nice. Yeah, much, much better shape than most of the places we go to, so. Yep. It's good to see. Absolutely. Alrighty, guys. Well, we will. See you on the See you around. Well, well, well show it until we get across this bridge. Okay. <laughs> I jumped the gun and I thought, well, you know what, somebody might want to see the bridge, the bridge and crossing them back through here. So. Might see the water a little bit better there yeah. too. And this home here might very well be in the superintendent's. Yeah, that looks more like a boss's house. Yeah, that's more like what you'd say. Yeah, so. very nice house. Absolutely. Okay, now, We'll see you on down there. We'll see you on down there.